Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to do a little bit of a different video and talk about deck building. And then I will take the deck I built into Silver Conquest uh, and try to uh, earn a gold ticket. This is going to be clearly an off meta deck. And I just want to talk through the thought process of uh, building a deck. Uh, and what I what I think about when adding cards. So the idea came to me to build a deck around Pixie and Kang. Kang is highly disrespected, probably for good reason, uh, as not a very good card. Uh, he just restarts the turn, zero power, uh, five cost, and he removes himself from the board. And then we have Pixie that shuffles the base cost of all cards in the deck. So, uh, this is going to be very challenging, and we will see if we can succeed. So first, uh, to build around Pixie, you almost always want to have Mobius. That way, if you get hosed on the costs, uh, Mobius sh will correct that. We also have a one cost and a zero cost that makes me think Ravona to discount them. She reduces the cost of everything with one power or less. And then what else? With Ravona, I want more zero power costs. So we will sort by power. We could go the goblin route. We could go the Mr. Negative route. Let's see. We will include Iron Man. That's a powerful card. We will include a goblin because why not? Mystique, I think I'm going to go the Mr. Negative route. And then I have a choice between Zabu and Psylocke. I think I will pick Psylocke because if she gets flipped, she's a 1-2. And I have three spots left. Oh, let's go the evil lockdown route, Professor X. And we have Pixie, so... Let's see, where do I want to go? Do I want to have... Cheaper cards that would flip for these higher costs? Okay, I am going to... Go that route. So let's go. This is a real going to be a really wacky deck, and we'll just refine it. Sort by energy. We will add a one cost in here. I would like to add Bast, but Bast conflicts with Ravona. So we will add Sunspot. And then in case we don't draw into Mr. Negative. We will go with Red Hulk. Okay. So this is the, our probably god awful deck, but we will take it into Silver Conquest and see how it goes and refine from there based on the failures. Okay, first up we have Super Cake. We have Pixie and Mobius in hand. And our Red Hulk for the finisher. 
I'm going to snap this. Okay, that was a very easy first win. <laughs> With an off-meta deck like this, you want to press your advantage. So if I get Ravona into Mr. Negative, I'm snapping. If I get Pixie, oh, if I get Psylocke into Mr. Negative, I'm snapping. And they snap too. I have a lot of good targets in my deck. Oh, are they a Mr. Negative deck? Okay, Mr. Negative, we can throw Green Goblin mid. And this is perfect. I have Iron Man in the deck still. I have Professor X in the deck. Are they... What's taking so long? We are. Mirror match time. Okay, I could play out Kang and get another card draw. I have five in my deck. Or I could play Kang into Dark Dimension for the five points. I will get the card draw. I think they can't end their turn. They've hit the intern bug. So I will hopefully fast forward through a lot of these turns. I, I want to play this game out at least just to showcase what this deck can do. Sorry, buddy. I guess we're going to wait one more full turn. <laughs> or maybe that's the fix. Maybe Kane can fix the intern bug. Okay, this is... This is very good. Do we jam them up here? Let's see if they play. Typically, uh, people change the location they play at. So we will, well, let me follow that uh, advice or that hunch. So we'll play middle. Since I will now have the full turn to think about all these moves. And Red Hulk will probably go into Dark Dimension. I can double up the, okay, they did, because it was so low stakes, I guess. But this probably works better for me. Oh man, Mobius? Get this Mobius down. And I want to Red Hulk last turn. So I can play, oh, I can't play Mystique. Okay, it is more important that I Mobius. since we're playing a Mr. Negative deck. So if they don't play out their cards now, we are in very good position. And I may just forego the Mystique. I may just play Iron Man and Red Hulk because I'd expect them to not use all of their power this turn. Yikes. The killer. <laughs> the, the absolute killer.
Okay. So they drew all of their zero cost cards, but that doesn't matter. So I think we just stack two lanes. I abandon left. And I think I just do Iron Man, Sunspot, Red Hulk over here. That gets me to eight, not 18. So they need 21 points here. And they need 20 over here. They have all negative cards, but they're all their base cost. I am Iron Man. Uh oh. Is he going to shun me? Or is she going to shun me? No. Okay. So even though it's a weird combination, this deck, uh, we were able to pull it out against the mirror match. Uh, Red Hulk came in clutch, uh, even though it conflicts with Mr. Negative. The reason why I opted for Red Hulk is because even if he gets flipped, if they're not using their power, if they're not using their full energy, his Red Hulk's power will still grow. So it can get past the Mr. Negative uh, conflict. All righty, one battle down, on to the next. Against Radiation Dude. Decent opening hand. I almost always play Sunspot into an unknown location. I do not want to snap because I don't have Mobius in hand, even though I have Pixie. So I will just Pixie and we'll roll the dice. Hmm, where do I want to play Green Goblin? We will take a Sentinel. Uh, no. We, it's not about the Sentinel. It's about most people avoid playing in the Orchis Forge. So because of that, I want to try to fill up their other lanes. They're probably going to get White Hot Room. A discard deck with Ravona. That typically points to a Dracula Arnim Zola. This is uh, not working out great. We'll play, we'll just play Psylocke mid. I can still win mid with a Red Hulk. Yeah, this is a Zola. The Dracula. Hmm. So they could Zola here. They haven't... They haven't snapped. So we will play Red Hulk. We do have Kang in hand. So if they do snap... Uh, I will undo my turn and play Kang. Otherwise, on the last turn, I'm going to snap. Yep, there's the Zola. Okay, I'm just going to snap like they did me a favor. And I have nothing to do, so we will just play Kang and see what happens. Victory. Nice, the Kang snap coming in clutch. So I wanted to snap almost immediately to, to tell my opponent, wow, you just did me a favor playing Zola, uh, Green Goblin into Zola. Because I have Kang in hand, uh, I know I can just undo the turn, so my snap is completely free and you saw my weak hand okay we oh and i get super flow this is kind of nice 
So we will snap on this because we have Psylocke into Mr. Negative. And if we can hold off on drawing Professor X until after we get Mr. Negative played, we could lock down Superflow. Very nice. Okay. Far Sinister. We will just get the Sunspot down. We do have a free Mystique. That's nice. That might be able to solo Bar Sinister, but they also might do some really funky nonsense with Dracula and Arnim Zola. You play Zola into Bar Sinister, you get a bunch of Draculas all over the place. So it's. I really need. Uh, I could stop that with Goblin, and it <laughs> it looks like a weird play uh, because I'm giving them 12 power. I think I'd do it. I have priority this turn, so they can't Zola the Dracula. And I get it, it's a really unorthodox play. But with Iron Man and Mystique, I can always win Bar Sinister. And honestly, I could play Iron Man in that location and win it. Okay, there's the Red Hulk. I will play the Iron Man into Bar Sinister. That wins that location. And then I just need to win another location with Mystique plus another card. And so the reason I did that really weird giving them three free power or twelve free power is to block their Arnim Zola. And the other really nice thing about playing off meta decks, uh, people don't know what to expect out of your deck. So game one, I didn't take the Mr. Negative line. This game I did. Oh, that kind of hurts. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Okay, I am going to play Kang, of course. And our move is, in all likelihood, to play Red Hulk, or play Mystique first to copy Iron Man, and then Red Hulk to follow. And Red Hulk hopefully gets up to 10. Plus the three, that's 13, 26, so 26 power. And I think their Apocalypse was at 10, which puts the Apocalypse at 14. Fantastic. Uh, and this is why I like Kang, even though a lot of people uh, don't, is he allows you to stay in games, and even if they retreat later, who cares? You've locked in your turn because you have Kang and you know you can undo it.
Now, Gambit is annoying. But, uh... We'll just have to deal with it. Mr. Negative in hand. Let's see if we can get one of our ramp cards. Ravona or Psylocke. Uh-oh. They might have gotten my Kang. We did not. And I don't have any tech cards in this game. Or in this deck. This is not a good uh this is not good drawing luck so this is if they snap we're retreating and honestly it's probably a retreat anyway okay do i go mr negative or do i just play the ravona to discount iron man We will play the Mr. Negative down. It's the Dracula. Okay, Pixie doesn't help. They could Zola this turn with Titan. So, let's see. They also have Modok in hand, we know. So I'm just going to play the Red Hulk. They haven't... Undo. Uh, do I want to ruin the Kang surprise now? I don't. We are not in an advantageous position. I would rather hold the knowledge back that I have Kang and I can get continue to get free snaps out of uh, Kang. Like I said, we didn't really have a good hand or draw luck, so we'll just punt this game. All right, we have Ravona and Mr. Negative in hand. Okay, Mr. Negative is still discounted. <laughs> Wakanda and Embassy trying to mess me up with the Ravona discount. But we have to snap uh, turn one when you have Ravona and Mr. Negative in hand. You just have to. We will play Ravona mid into nowhere. She's ongoing. And hold off on drawing a good Mr. Negative card, please. Oh, it doesn't really matter too much because we're throwing it back in the deck. And we're sparing Red Hulk, too. Oh, they might not get the Muramasa shard back. Oh man, this is fantastic. So I just drew Kang. I want to play out Kang for the draw. And we can kind of see what they're up to, because I may lock down a location now. Or I almost definitely will. And it's almost definitely going to be right. Because I can play Red Hulk mid. And now the question is, do I play Iron Man with Professor X? But no, I don't. Because I can play these two together. Perfect. So we locked down this one lane, and now I have Iron Man and Red Hulk combo. Just disgusting to win nowhere. And so I would be shocked if they stay in this game. Yeah. Victory. Because they wouldn't be able to beat Red Hulk on his own.
let alone with the Iron Man. 30 points. It says 60 points total. Fantastic. Okay, we could always try to fish for Mr. Negative in Quantum Tunnel. Not snapping yet. I don't have the cards I want. I'm going to fish for a card. Because I would like to play uh, Professor X in the Quantum Tunnel. But I am afraid to snap because uh, they have priority. But if I can win this lane... Then I can Iron Man and Red Hulk right. So I'm definitely snapping now. It's later than I'd like. But we play down Iron Man here. And then we play Red Hulk on top of them for at least 22. Or actually, let's get the Psylocke down too for the extra points. They really should retreat. I'm snapping after I've done my surprise play. Wow, they stayed in. Okay, you better use all your energy this turn. Because now this is... 16, 32 points. And if they don't use all of their energy here, it's 40 points. So that's just strong position. Okay, perfect. Gambit does not matter. Nice, and they revealed first. I am. Because of priority. Easy win. Well, closer than I thought. <laughs> Still hold it out. So there you go. This went uh, better than my wildest dreams. Uh, I got to showcase how to build a deck uh, with two uh, look-down-upon cards with Pixie and Kang. And here is our gold ticket. So we were successful in our endeavor. And here is the deck again. Uh, just to recap, the challenge was to build an off-meta deck with both Pixie and Kang in it at the same time, which is uh, very challenging. The Mr. Negative Shell is powerful. Uh, so I ended up going that way. So there's a few lines we have. We have the Pixie Mobius line. We have the Psylocke or Ravona into Mr. Negative line. Uh, and those are probably our two main ones. We have Kang for cube equity. You got to see me make free snaps and get cubes off of those free snaps when my hand was the worst. Had, what, three total power or something very small. Uh, where there was no way I was winning that game. Under normal circumstances, I would have retreated myself. We have Red Hulk, which is just a super powerful card. Uh, I'm sorry if this is a too much of an expensive deck. You have Pixie, Kang, and Red Hulk here. I think Ravona might be a Series 4 card. Uh, 
but these are cards that are generally looked down upon pixie and kang and we made it work to get a gold ticket do i think you should take this deck uh and try to climb with it or even go into conquest and try to you know win not particularly uh i think we had a very good attempt and believe it or not that was legitimately my first attempt so that's that's kind of how you think about building decks uh what cards to put in what cards complement, and what to start with what to end with and then just how to learn how to pilot the deck silver conquest for me is where i advise everybody to practice their new decks in because people typically play silver conquest somewhat seriously those tickets are very easy to gain uh, and you can practice snapping and retreating and really what are the stakes you're not in ladder you're not losing a rank you're not in gold or infinite conquest where you really want to try to win and get those infinite borders uh, but uh, yeah uh, this is what I would advise going into silver conquest uh, and speaking of infinite borders I do have experience in Conquest, uh, mostly with the Phoenix Force deck. Uh, here are all the infinite borders I have. Uh, I have more than enough. So here's a bonus. If you run into me in-game uh, and you see my in-game name is Rare Agenda. Uh, if you see me, give me both the Spider-Man point and the fist bump at the start of the game. Uh, and I will play you for real until it's clear that I'm going to win, if I legitimately win. Uh, and then I'll retreat and give you the victory because I have as many conquest borders. This is in conquest and ladder is probably different. I'm trying to be somewhat serious about my rank, uh, but in conquest, uh, as you can see, I've kind of achieved everything I want to. So, so yeah, uh, here's the deck again. I'll have the deck code in the comments, and until next time, take care.